Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and as you can see by the video title, we're here to talk about nano memory. Now, as you can see here, I have a nano memory card, which is looking that looks very much like a SIM card, a nano SIM card. That's pretty much exactly the same size. Now, not pretty much, it is exactly the same size as a nano SIM card. And you're thinking, okay, so what's what's the point in all this, Sam? Well, I'm hopefully going to try and give it shed you a little bit of a light as to why these exist and why why we actually developed them. So let's see if we can get inside this one. Because I've actually, as you can see, I've not actually opened this yet. So let's just see if we can get inside it. Dun, dun, dun. So it looks like it's going to be a bit of a struggle. So we really need stuff on the back. Eh, eh, it's all in Chinese. Da, da, da. Here we go. I'm not going to fail on this one today. Ugh. Da, da, da. Ugh. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is not going to plan, as you can see. It's not as easy as you might think it is. And I want to do a a flossy a flossy cart. I don't want to do any cuts. Ugh. Tell you what, this plastic is very very thick. You know what? I might have to bloody cut this because this is becoming a bit ridiculous now. Here we go. Here we go. Ready, people? Dun dun dun. Oh, you're joking me. The struggles are real, people. There we go. There she is. Right, tell you what. Let me clean this stuff up, so I will do a bit of a cut. Two secs. So here we have it. Took me long enough, that didn't it? It's going to be really hard to kind of show you this in camera. To get you nice. There we go. So it's the Huawei 128 gigabyte nano memory card. So it's NM card. Now you're probably used to seeing like SD card, micro SD card, and I have a micro SD card here, just for a size comparison. So if I kind of put them side by side, you can see that it is a fair amount smaller. Now I suppose when you're getting down to this small, some people are probably thinking, what's the point? Can't I just, you know, just stick one of these ones in? It's a lot easier. And yeah, from the average consumer, for us, thinking, can't we just carry news in them? But from, and even from Huawei and other manufacturers that might be looking to use a similar kind of card as this, every little kind of little nook, nook and cranny inside of these phones, they need that space. So I'm going to show you as to how much space it actually will save. So I'm actually just going to pop out the SIM tray here. So you're probably used to seeing a SIM tray where it's got a micro SD card and nano SIM or two nano SIMs. The advantage of this one is that's the size of the SIM tray. So it's not a long one. So it actually saves a fair amount on one side of it. So in terms of like how long it is, and it's not as wide either. So on one side, you'll be able to put your SIM card. And on the other side, you put your nano memory. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you. I'm just gonna pop that into the phone. So it goes, actually tell you what, let's have a look at the back of it as well. It's kind of interesting. If you look at that, see the difference between them? So the SD has got quite a few, like not as many in terms of the actual like contacts. Whereas the Nano one, as you can see, it's got quite a few. Now let's compare that to a SIM card. And let's just have a quick look. Let's, see, well, let's just pop it back out. Dun, dun, dun. So here we go. As you can see, because it's so small, it's really hard to kind of show you the camera. There we go. So as you can see, the contact points are very similar. Very, very similar. And they're identical in terms of size. So what you would do is an example with the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, which is the first and only current device that this actually works with, is you put it face up. So you put it face up like that, stick it in. And on the reverse side is where you put your SIM card. And again, reverse up and stick it in. So one side you get your nano SIM, other side, nano memory. And then all you need to do then is bang it in the phone. Bob's your uncle. And let me have a look. Let's see if I can go to the settings. Go to storage. So as you can see, here I've got the amount of normal storage just here. And now I've got the memory card option, which boom, 125.04 gigabytes available. And, and what I do like is you can actually say, right, where do you want things to go to default? So do you want it to go default internal or memory card? So now I've just upgraded the phone from 128 gig 
to effectively 256. Well, obviously minus the uh, the difference in terms of what the card actually gives you. And that's pretty much about it in terms of the nano memory. Is it's a small, it's effectively the same standard, from my understanding, as something like a micro SD card. It's just it's kind of been reworked to make sure it fits in a nano size. So as you can tell with the pins and whatnot, they've all just completely different. Um, yeah, if you want like a more of a detailed kind of explanation of exactly like speeds and all that kind of stuff, I will actually put a link down below to the article from uh, Android Android Central um, and also a video from Alex Dober from Android Central as well because they go into a lot more detail if you want all the tech specs. What my video is to do is to just kind of say, look, this is a new format. This is what it is. And effectively, they're trying to replace these. So yeah, I like it and I don't like it. I like it for the fact that they're trying to do something new, but <laughs> everything is getting so small that it's easier to lose. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, people, that's it. If you've got any questions about the nano memory, the, P, the P20 Pro, I'm going to say, then the Mate 20 Pro, as you can see, it's got a nice Twilight Edition. Then hit me up in a comment down below. If you are new to your channel, then go on, smack that like button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, subscribe. It's free. <laughs> anyway, people, I am also on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, you name it, Instagram, you name them. I'm pretty much on that social media, at Sam J. Paul and all of them. And once again, I want to say thank you for watching, and you'll hopefully see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.